guys, uh, this is H2M Mundus Mark and we are glad to, uh, to have another session with you and then this is another turn again. So I hope you guys are doing well, as I'm also doing well right here and as I said last time, uh, we have another language to learn. Uh, it's uh, one of the languages in South Sudan and I hope you guys will like it so much. As I said before, South Sudan is a very good country. Try to visit South Sudan, you will see how beautiful people are and with rich culture and people are so lovely with welcoming, I have to say it later on. And today we have a very special guest. I don't know her name, I don't know who she is, but I believe you love her so much. And she has a new thing to tell us. For any of you who would like to visit South Sudan, please, uh, my colleague, you're most welcome. Okay. Hi, guys. My name is Helen Kiran Joseph, and I'm 16 years old. And I'm a South Sudanese, so I'm proud to be a South Sudanese. So there are few words for you to know in English and both in Arabic. So those are the things which I, I will teach you how to speak in Arabic. Like what? What means malu? Like when someone call you and you don't want to respond to that person, you say malu. So and the second word is come. Come means in in Arabic taal. When someone call you, you, you will go. It's style in Arabic. The third word is go. Go means rua in Arabic. So when someone told you to go, it's rua in Arabic. And the fourth is take. Take means shilu. Like when someone told you to take something from one place to another, it's shilu. Like, uh, wait, wait, uh, you say that take, take is shilu, okay? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, what if you want to say that bring in Arabic, what do you say? Bring, it's jibu in jibu. Arabic. No, in Arabic? Yeah. Okay, well, that's wonderful. Very simple to learn, okay? Yeah. yeah. So for those one who like to go to South Sudan, there are so many basic sentences for you to know. Like, what is this? What does this mean? They should know in Arabic. So if you want to ask something from someone, you tell him that does you know? What can you repeat that? Okay, like there's so so many basic sentences yeah, okay. for you to know in Arabic. In Arabic like yeah. what is this? What is this? Okay. Yeah, yeah. You tell that person in Arabic does you know? Does you know? Yeah. Does you know? In Arabic is does you know? What is this? In Arabic is does you know? So yeah, okay. Okay, the second sentence. Can you please come here? Malish keta jahini. It is in Arabic. Yeah. Malish keta jahini. Malish keta jahini. Keta jahini. Yeah. Okay. Mm. <laughs> it is simple. I hope yeah, you will learn simple. it. Yeah. It is yeah. simple. Yeah. Can you break it for us in in slow motion and like make it one by one in Arabic and. Okay, please can like come here. can can is kede kede okay you is ita ita then please malish malish come tal here is hini okay. yeah so it is can you please come here okay. it is malish keta jahini malish keta jahini all right so, yeah so very so easy yeah it is so easy you yeah. learn it okay yeah so the third word is please sit down Malish keta geni tehit. Malish keta geni tehit. Malish keta geni tehit. Okay. Yeah. Then the fifth word is take this spoon. Uh, in Arabic is shilu malagade. Shilu malagade. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then the sixth, walk back home. Doru wara fibet. Doru wara fibet. Yeah. Go back home. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Then the seventh, she ran so fast. Obijere seri. Obijere seri. Run so fast is? Obijere seri. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So today we shall learn Arabic with, uh, with our sister. And I hope the viewers, you love it so much. I, I believe that. Okay. Yeah, it is so simple. If you just have intention, intention in learning it, you will learn. It yeah. is so easy. So easy. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, and I'm hungry. I'm hungry. It's Anajan. 
Anna Jian. Anna Jian. It is. I'm hungry. I'm when hungry. you're hungry, you want to eat something. Okay. Hmm? Say Anna Jian. I'm hungry. Yeah. Okay. Take this book. Take this book in Arabic. Shilu Karazde. Shilu. Shilu Karazde. Shilu Karazde. Take this book is Shilu Karazde. Yeah. Okay. Then can you look at your back? It's about the rain of Goda Hartaki. Can you look at your back is? It's about the rain of Fida Hartaki. It's a bag there, I know Fida Hartaki. It's a bag there. Okay. I know Fida Hartaki. It's a bag there, I know. Like you are asking yeah, that okay. person question. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. That is it. Okay. Mm. So. Uh, anyway, we are so happy to have you right here, you guys. So uh, I hope you have learned some few Arabic and I believe you. Any of you want to be South Sudan, you can at least learn these few words. When you reach there, you can easily communicate with people. Actually, uh, Arabic is like the official language, language of South Sudan, yeah. right? And you can use that Arabic to speak to many people in South Sudan, in Western Equatoria, in Central, in every state. You can use Arabic, I believe that, isn't it? Yes. So you guys, don't forget that and don't forget your language. Those of you who are outside, abroad and anywhere, just don't forget your language. And mm. anyone who would like to be South Sudan, learn these few words with h 2 and you'll be so happy to, to speak to different kind of people. Thank you so much. And do you have anything to tell us, to tell the viewers and we, we, we OK. The viewers, my fellow Sudanese, I would like to advise you, when you go abroad or to other countries, don't forget your own language. Be proud where you came from. This is what I can advise you guys. Okay, so yeah. I hope you've heard from her. Don't forget your own language. It's so embarrassing, by the way. And mm. again, don't forget to subscribe to H2M on this mark and like. Have a nice time and enjoy your day. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.